Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope all is well on your side of the world. Now today I'm going to briefly share how you can set up and manage your Meta Business Manager, formerly known as the Facebook Business Manager, so that you can manage all your Meta Business assets in one place. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive in, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into the Meta Business Manager. <music> Okay, so to set up a Meta Business Manager, formerly known as a Facebook Business Manager, simply head over to your browser and type in business.facebook.com forward slash overview, or feel free to click the link in our description below this video, and that's going to take you here. Then simply navigate up to create an account. Then navigate up to your business and account name and add your business name. So make sure that you add your business name exactly how it appears online. Then come down and add your name. Now, if you're already logged into your Facebook account, your name will be automatically generated. So you want to make sure that you're already logged into your personal profile and you want to make sure that your personal profile has been around for a while. Facebook wants to make sure that if you're advertising on Facebook and across their other different platforms, that you have a credible account. So don't create a new Facebook profile, use your existing personal profile. Then come down and add your business email. And then go ahead and click on submit. Okay, now because I've already created multiple Meta Business Manager accounts in the past, I can't actually create a new one. So what I've done is logged into an existing Meta Business Manager that I created in the past. However, you just need to add a few more details and then you'll be taken inside your Meta Business Manager. Now, if your interface does not look like this, simply navigate down to the bottom left hand corner and click on Business Settings and that's going to take you here. Or head over to your browser and type in business.facebook.com forward slash settings and that's going to take you here. Now, setting up a Meta Business Manager is important if you want to start engaging in advertising on Facebook and Instagram. Essentially, your Business Manager allows you to manage all your Meta assets in one place, as well as manage people and permissions, if you want to add people to help you manage particular accounts or assets. So within your business manager, you can manage your pixels, your Instagram account, WhatsApp account, your Facebook pages, your ad accounts, and more. Okay, so first what we're going to do is navigate over to people. We currently have people selected. And as you can see, I only have myself that's added to this business manager. And you can see all the different assets that are assigned to me. Now, if you're looking to add an individual or an agency to help you manage your ads or other assets inside your Facebook account, then what you can do is navigate up here and then click on add. Navigate down and add the email address of the individual you want to add to your account. You can add multiple email addresses if you like, then come down and click on next. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just want to mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Then simply navigate down to partial access. We want to make sure that the individual has basic access and this is set by default. Now you can choose to give that individual access to apps and integrations or you can navigate down and give that individual full control. Now you would do this if the individual is an owner of your business and you want to give them full control over all the different assets and accounts that you have that are part of this business manager. However, I'm happy with basic. I just want them to manage my ads and Facebook pages. So I'm going to navigate down and click on next. Then what you want to do is navigate through the different assets that you manage within your business manager and give specific access to those assets. For example, new page experience. This is the Facebook page I want to give access to. 
Then if I navigate over to add accounts, I have one current ad account that is part of this business manager. And I want to give this individual access to this particular ad account. Again, you can navigate through all these different assets, catalogs, apps, pixels, Instagram accounts, commercial accounts, and data sets. And you want to select the asset that you want to give access to. Then choose the access that you want to give. And you can always change this at any time. I'm going to navigate over to manage campaigns and I'm happy with that for the ad account. Then I want to navigate over to pages. And remember we selected this page. What kind of access do I want to give to this Facebook page? So with each asset, you can customize the level of access. I'm just going to go ahead and click on content and I'm happy with that. And I'm going to navigate down and click on invite. And as you can see, that invitation was sent. You gave them access to two accounts or tools. I'm going to navigate down and click on done. And you can see that this user is pending. I can also go ahead and click on resend or I can cancel. Now, what about adding meta assets to our account? Well, what I'm going to do is navigate over to accounts and then first click on pages. And this is where we can add and manage the Facebook pages that are connected to our business manager. As you can see, we have two Facebook pages that are connected to this business manager. And if we navigate down here, you can manage people that are associated that have access to this particular Facebook page. As you can see, we have this Facebook page selected and then I have access to this page. If I click on this page, Again, you can see I'm the only one that has access to this page. Now, if you want to manage another Facebook page within this business manager, simply navigate up to add, and then you have three options. You can add a page. This is a page that already exists. Now, this has to be a page that you've created yourself, and that's going to allow you to claim the page and add that page to your business manager. The next option is to request access to a page. This is if you want to manage another page. For example, if you're an agency or you're a contractor and you want access to a Facebook page so you can help manage a Facebook page from another business, then what you want to do is go ahead and click on this option. Again, if you want to run ads on a client's Facebook page, then you will need to request access to that page. Then below this, we have the option to create a new Facebook page. Now, if you currently do not have a Facebook page and you want to learn how to create one, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of creating a Facebook page. Okay, so that is how you can add Facebook pages. Next, we have add accounts. If we navigate over to add accounts, this is where you can add and manage your ad accounts. Again, all you need to do is navigate up to add and then you have these options. You can add an ad account that you've already created and add that to your business manager. You can also request access to an ad account. This is if you're an agency, you're a contractor and you want to manage ads through a client's ad account. Then down here, you can create a new ad account. So you should be able to see all these three options. Then what we can also do is navigate down the left hand side and click on Instagram accounts. As you can see, these are the two Instagram accounts that are already connected with this business manager. Again, all you would do is navigate up to add and then come down and connect your Instagram account. That's simply going to open up the Instagram login page where you can add your details and connect your account. So what I'm going to do is exit out of that. Then we also have commerce accounts. At the moment, this business manager does not have any commerce accounts. Now, let's say, for example, you had a Shopify store and you wanted to add your products on Facebook. Then what you would do is set up a commerce account and you would do that through the Shopify backend. And once you've connected Shopify and your Meta business manager together, then you'll be able to access the commerce manager. And that way you'll be able to manage your products, your catalogs directly inside your commerce manager. Then we have WhatsApp accounts. If we click here. You can simply go ahead and add a WhatsApp account. Just go ahead and add your business WhatsApp number. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of that. Now, if we navigate down the page and click on billing and payments, this is where you want to set up your payment methods, especially if you want to start engaging in ads on Facebook through your ads account, then you want to set up your payment information. You also have notifications down here and your business information that you can update down here. However, this is the main area, the settings where you'll spend most of your time when it comes to the business manager. Again, the main reason you want to set up your business manager is so that you can manage all your different assets in one place, as well as manage your team and external users and the different permission levels. 
Okay, so once you've taken the time to set up your Meta Business Manager and you've added all your Meta accounts and assets, then you can start engaging in ads. Again, what you want to do is click on Add Accounts and then either create a new ad account, an existing one, or connect to another ad account. Now, if you want to learn how to run ads, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will dive into your ad account and the ads manager and how you can set up and launch your first Facebook ad. So go ahead and check out that tutorial if you're interested. Also, if you want to learn more about the Meta Business Suite, which is different to your Meta Business Manager, then again, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will help you get up and running with your Meta Business Suite. This platform allows you to actually engage in social media activities across all your different assets, like managing and scheduling posts on your Facebook business page and Instagram business account, as well as manage all the messages from each of these different assets. So again, check out this Meta Business Suite tutorial if you like. However, that is a brief overview of how you can get started with the essential elements inside the Meta Business Manager. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Meta Business Manager tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.